Hi everybody, Dana Crawford. Today is Monday, March 31st, 2014, and I'm getting ready to do my shipping. I have about 13, 14 items to ship, and I have seven items that people haven't paid for yet, so I'm patiently waiting for that. Meanwhile, let's get started. Okay, first item up is this potato baker. I had this on auction and nobody bought it, so I listed it as a buy it now for $79.99 with make an offer, free shipping, and someone made an offer of $40 and I accepted. So let's pack it up. Okay, shipping came to $8.65. I decided to keep it in its original box and to keep the cost down and it's so sturdy. So I put protective um, padding around it and then I wrapped these um, Tyvek bags around it and then put some stickers on it. So it's going to New York, New York. Okay, this next item is a little trinket box. This is the Parish Church of Marlowe. No idea what, what that, pardon? Marlowe. What that means. And Marlowe is a place in England. Marlowe is a place in England. Okay. Um, so this is a oh, trinket no. box. And it's sold for $13. So, and it's going to Washington, D.C. So let's pack it up. Okay, first class shipping was $2.01. I'm shipping it in this one cent. Shipping it in this recycled box. And I forgot to mention this was an auction. I started it at $9.99 and it sold for $13. All right, next. Okay, next item is this lovely, fashionable um, fireman's helmet. And it sold as a buy it now for $65. And it is going to Canada through the global shipping program. So let's box it up. Okay, shipping was $9.87 and greenshippingrocks.com. I was able to fit it in this recycled box that was from a light kit to a new ceiling fan that we put in. So save those boxes. And um, okay, so let's see what we got next. Okay, next item, I have a set of three of these Lake Placid um, Olympic old-fashioned kind of glasses and I had them up on auction nobody bought them I put them up as a buy it now for $39.99 and someone made an offer of $29.99 so I accepted it and luckily they're in Florida so I should be able to get these in a flat rate or I mean in a regional A so we'll see Okay, Regional A was a tight fit, so I went with Regional B, and it was still only a little over six bucks, and it's going to Geneva, Florida. Didn't even know we had Geneva here. Okay, next up is this Henry Bendel drawstring bag, and it was on auction for $9.99, and it, got, it received one bid, so it sold for $9.99, free shipping. And it's going to Marietta, Georgia. So it can go easily in a envelope. Okay, shipping was $2 and a penny. And I like using these bags. I actually bought these bags on eBay. And I bought, they come like this. And they're bubble, bubble bags. They're kind of a weird shape, but it's okay. I fold them up and use whatever I need. And I paid, um... What six dollars? I won these on auction. Six dollars for um, how many was it? For two hundred. Six dollars for two hundred, and it actually it was six no twelve sixty seven shipping, so thirteen. So say twenty bucks, nineteen bucks. I paid for two hundred of these, and they're awesome. I even cut them in half sometimes and ship smaller things, or as I need so okay next okay next is this Sirocco wood box and I really didn't know if it was a jewelry box or a cigar box so I put both keywords in there and it is um, very interesting I'm sure you've heard of the Sirocco wood they made all kinds of interesting decor 
but um, I started this on an auction for $9.99 and it sold for $18.50 and plus they paid for shipping. So let's box it up. Okay, this fit very snug in a, in a regional B box and it's going to Melbourne, Florida. So it's not too far. And it only costs, what was it, six? It was six something. And they actually paid eight. So I did not let the postage be seen on the front. And so I made a few bucks on shipping. All right, next item. But I should also point out that if they lived out like in California, I would have probably lost a few bucks on shipping. Okay, next is this little trinket box. I actually started this on auction for a dollar and it sold for $9.27 and you can see I put my little card in there and a nice little note. I think it's important to write a note. I try to remember. Sometimes I forget. Just simple little note but people appreciate that handwritten note versus that lengthy typed out one. So anyhow, so it went for $9.27 free shipping and hardly weighs anything so let's package it up. Okay, shipping was three dollars and eleven cents, and it's going to Mel. Uh, it's going to New York. Anyways, you know how I feel about those Amazon boxes, so I crossed it all off and I wrote eBay on it. <laughs> and um, I don't shop from Amazon; it's my aunt, so I have to have a word with her about bringing me all these nasty boxes. But it's okay; I'll cover them up. What's next? Okay, I'm on a wooden box chest roll today. <laughs> This one I listed at auction $9.99 and it sold for $9.99 and this one's kind of broke but I did describe it. It's also a bank. Very interesting little trinket box. Very old. So let's see where it's going. Shipping first class in a recycled box going to Seattle, Washington. Okay this is like a bronze kind of little girl. She's really little. And um, I had her on auction for $14.99, and it received one bid, $14.99. So it's a sale. And she's going to Texas, I believe. So let's package her up. Shipping was $3.11, and she's going to Austin, Texas, in this cute little sweet and low box. <laughs> okay, next I have this lovely... Um, sundress by JBS and it actually has a flaw on it well actually it's not a flaw it's a repair but it's really hard to find I didn't even see it had I had seen it I probably wouldn't have bought it myself but um, it is really hard to find so I included that in my description I put it on auction for $9.99 and it sold for $10.49 so I had a couple bids, and shipping is th was three dollars. So I should be able to ship this pretty cheap. It is so cute. So let's see. Okay, shipping was three dollars and forty-seven cents, and it's going to Montrose, Michigan, in this nifty poly bag, and it just weighed in at thirteen ounces. So thank goodness it didn't go over. Okay, next is this lovely ornate wall art. And I actually had this on auction and nobody bought it, so I put it up as a buy it now for $55. And someone came in and made an offer of $43.99, I think it was. And so I accepted it. So it's going to Savannah, Georgia. Won't this look awesome at a home up in Savannah, Georgia? So let's box it up. Okay, shipping was $5.20. And I took two priority mail mailing tubes and then I wrote do not crush and fragile on it to help protect it so it should be fine I wrapped it in a ton of bubble and these mailing tubes are great you can put them out flat and then use them as needed for things like this okay okay next item is this Pandora charm and I sold it for $28 and it comes in this little pouch. They're brand new. I actually got a good deal on these um, direct from a company online. can't tell you who. And they had um, buy so many at a very good price. And my daughters wear these, so I have them put away for their birthday. So I actually made enough to cover theirs, theirs as a gift. So it worked out well. 
Okay, the charm is going to Crew, Virginia, and I use this flat rate priority mail envelope. Now, I could have shipped it a lot cheaper first class, but I really wanted to insure it. And it was close to the same price for insurance on um, first class as it would be for a priority mail envelope, so why not? So I just went ahead and put in there when insurance is free. So I'm covered using priority mail. Okay, next. Okay, this is a cute top. I had this as a buy it now for $22, and I actually just listed it last night, and somebody made an offer of $12, and I accepted it. So it's really lightweight, so it should be real cheap to ship. It's darling. Okay, let's ship it. Okay, shipping was only $1.93, and it's going to Branson, West Missouri. Okay, here's today's fun auction. I had these um, clips and I started them at 99 cents and I got two bids and they sold for a dollar four. So, and they're gonna go to Puerto Rico. They don't have these there, I don't know. But the thing is, um, you may say, oh my God, why did you do that? Well, I could have threw them in a garage sale box or whatever, but this kind of stuff will help people to um, come back and create repeat business because they got a great deal and they'll add me as a favorite seller and you call these lost leaders but they work really great and I like to do them every once in a while okay so I sold them for a dollar four and shipping was a dollar ninety three and they're going to Mayaguez, Puerto Rico so I put them in but my pink pretty bubble wrap and then I rolled up a poly bag because I wanted extra protection because they have quite a journey to go on and I want them to arrive safe and sound. One more to go. Okay, this is an item I had on auction. It's a Sherry Martin Hawaiian style kind of outfit. And I had it for $9.99 free shipping auction. And somebody, one bidder, $9.99. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now the reason it went so cheap is because it actually had a button missing. And I put a safety pin on it and be sure to let them know. So I didn't expect a lot for this. I was just happy it sold. So let's see where it's going. Okay, shipping was $3.29. And I put it in plastic and then a poly bag. And it's going to Elmhurst, Illinois. And I smile because that's where um, I used to live in that area. And uh, that's where I met my husband. And I used to work at Nancy's Pizzeria there before eBay and started on eBay at the time. Well, I was I was working three jobs. I worked at Nancy's Pizzeria, I worked for the Park District, and I worked for Girl Scouts of America. Then I started on eBay and um, had a bad day at the pizza place. Only made um, $5 in tips during the lunch shift. And uh, the man I ended up marrying said to me, well, you're always talking about how much money you make on eBay. Why are you even messing with this job? And I thought, you know what? You're right. And he inspired me to go home. I created a business plan. And I was able to quit all three of my jobs. And for the last 17 years, I've been doing eBay full time. And I love it. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. And that's today's shipping. So you can visit my eBay store at askdanna.com or contact me at my website at powersellingmom.com. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see what kind of shipping we got tomorrow.